uh, NGO men. Can I just call you men? Nam. It's it's Nam. Hey Nam. Hey Spooky. And we have T Mai, and we have Roy. Okay, so they're coming in slowly, one by one. Good to see you, Spooky Bach. How are you today? I'm fine. Your hair looks good. It looks cool. <laughs> okay. Nice to see you guys. So I'll go back up to the top. And we have uh, everybody here. So it's nice to see you guys today. And if you say, what are we going to do today? We're going to do this lesson two, which is today we're going to learn about the main idea of a paragraph. Um, some of you already know about the main idea. I saw it in some of your sample writing, but some of you do not. So we'll start with this main idea topic, how to write strong paragraphs. That's gonna be for today, but we'll come back to that a little bit later. That's just to show you what we are doing for today. It's gonna to be writing just one paragraph with that main idea nice and strong in your writing. But we're also going to um, cover things like don't use contractions in your writing. Um, be careful of comma splices where you keep using commas and the sentence keeps going and going, which becomes a run on sentence, you guys. We want to be careful of that. And we also want to make sure we know when our sentence states a complete thought and then you can stop with a period. Some people call it a full stop in computer language. And what I want to show you now, though, is some of your writing. I see your names here. So I'm going to go back to the share screen. I'm going to go to this one. You guys gave me your homework and I want to pick two good homeworks. Um, but let's see. We'll go to this one here. And we'll share the screen again. One moment, please. And I'm going to pick maybe two people to read your homeworks, you guys. And I could do it from here. Uh, let's see who we have. Can I ask um, from this one? I want to ask uh, you, Yoku. Here's yours. Let's see what this looks like. Hello, teacher. Yes. Okay, so you, Yoko, are you there? That's yes. Right. All right, you, Yoko. You wrote a nice long one, and it was it was a complicated one. Would you like to read it for us, you, Yoko? And I put the corrections in there so you can see. I'm yes. trying to make it bigger. This is kind of jumpy, you guys. All right, how's that, you, Yoko? Can you see it? Uh, I can see your file. Oh, I see what happened. You can see the files, but not the thing. Okay, so let me do that. And then I will go back to share screen and get you Yoku's thing up again. Sorry about that. So that's how I have to do it. Okay, do you see it, you Yoku? Uh, yes. Okay, Yoku's going to read one, two, three, three paragraphs because some of you wanted a bigger challenge than just one paragraph. And we decided that's okay. We asked your mothers um, for students who want more of a challenge. We decided to let you do three paragraphs if you want to, but one is okay. All right, you, Yoku, would you like to read? Yes. Okay. Uh, the first picture shows a man that, ha that has fallen off his bike while cycling. The picture may have taken place in a large field since there's a flat, yet green ground at the back of the, at the, back of the picture. Not far away from the man is a worried woman who got out, who got out of a car and frantically run running at running at a man perhaps both both of them got into an accident where the woman hits the man on the road fortunately the picture shows that the man is fine and no injuries are are viewable but the man is holding uh, his head and and is looking uh, quite quite painful maybe from a minor headache despite the wearing a helmet Okay, so um, you, Yoku, you wrote, uh, the man is fine, no injuries are viewable. It's okay, I understand what you mean, viewable, but I changed that here, you guys, to observable. It's a big word, so it's better to say observable, means you can see it, observe it. Um, you, you, I made a mistake here, it says here, um, the man is, uh, not far from the man is a worried woman who got out of her car and frantically runs Maybe, you, Yoku, we should change this to and ran because you're using the past sent, uh, tense. And it's probably best to stay in the past tense for all of this. Don't you think so? 
So perhaps both of them got into an accident where the woman hit the man on the road. Fortunately, the picture shows that the man is fine. So we kind of mixing past and present here. We'll talk more about that. Yoki, would you like to read picture number two, the building of the house? Uh, yes. The picture shows some construction workers building a house. The picture seems to be taken in the countryside, since there are trees and bushes, but no building in sight. The workers seems to be done, seems to be done building the main part of the house, and they are now building the roof. They also seems to be somewhat co cooperative with each other since they are working together on a lot of the parts of the house. As an extra detail, there's also a truck in, in the background that stood out in the green dust background. It probably stores the workers' materials and tools. Yeah, it's really nice work, Yuyoku. That whole, as an extra detail, that's a wonderful uh, long sentence that has uh, two sentences that have a lot of really good information for the readers there. That's nice work, Yuyoku. Okay, let's go to the third one. The picture shows. Okay. The picture, so, the picture shows a class for, for students. It might have ten base in a in summer, they yeah, just... I put a question mark there to you because I wasn't sure what you meant by that. Was it summer vacation, or I'm not sure what you meant by that. This picture shows a class of students, it might have been taking place in summer. Do you want to stop there? Uh, no, I want to read the whole par paragraph. Okay, yeah, start from the beginning, and the picture shows the picture shows a class for students, it might have taken place in summer. They seem to be very enthusiastic and eager to learn as they are actively engaging in the class. The class may be an elementary class as all of the students are children instead of the teenager at the bottom, bottom right of the picture. The students may have great academic score or the class is hosting a fun activity as the students are smiling. The subject they are learning right now might be biology, as there is a poster on the wall at the back of the class, which might is showing a cell of some sort. Of some sort. There are also two more posters besides the aforementioned one. Yeah, again, this is really nice work, Yuyoku. This is really nicely written. Here's something I want to change, though. Might is showing. We could do this. Might be showing sounds better. And then you used accept up here. We're going to put a comma after accept. So in doing this, it's fun to edit it right when in front of all the students. I can see things that I missed. Said, very good, Yuyoku. Be careful of subject verb agreement. They also seems to be somewhat cooperative. So they also seem to be somewhat cooperative. On your original, you wrote, they also seems to be somewhat cooperative. So I corrected that. I said, no, no. Say, they also seem to be because they seem to be. Okay, let's ask our students what they think. Spooky Bach, did you enjoy this writing by Yuyoku? Yuyoku, sorry. Yes. Um, yes. Do you have a question about it? Do you think it's pretty cool, Spooky Bach? Yes. Yeah, I think so too. He has some nice writing there. Hey, Simon from <laughs> Vietnam. <laughs> Simon, Vietnam, are you there? It's Brendan America. Yes, I'm here. Hey, Simon, what do you think of this I'm writing here. by Yuyoku? Can you say again? Do you like this writing? He wrote three paragraphs. Yeah. Can you ask very loud? Okay. So, Simon, he wrote three paragraphs. Do you like the three paragraphs? Yes, I, I do. Okay. How about Min? You're raising your hand. Min, you like them also? Can I call you not men? Not men. Hey, not men. How are you? I can see just your eyes. Simon, question. Back to Simon. Yes, no. Hey there, Simon. No. Simon, how are you today? I'm good. And you? Good. I'm good. It's cold here in Japan, but I'm enjoying. It's a nice night. All right. Hey, Simon, do you want to read yours? Read, par read off my paragraph. Yeah, do you have your paragraph already? I can put it up here on the thing. Um, save, I'm gonna save this and let me go back to the Zoom guys. Um, and let me check, I'll get 
I'll get Simon's ready um, your paragraph if I can get there. One moment, please. Sometimes Zoom gives me problems. Okay, here, take this away and let's look for that. Uh, basic writing, I'm going to look for Simon's uh, thing here. Simon, you did one that's a little bit different. You did, um, uh, it's a sample writing you did, Simon. Do you remember? I just checked it for you. Yeah, yes. where's Simon's? I see it there. All right, it's all the way at the bottom, Simon. Uh, where is Simon? Oh. Simon! <laughs> yes! Uh, I'm coming to get, oh! Wait a minute. Oh, it's Ben. No, this is Ben. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, Simon, I can't find your work. So let me go to another one. I, we'll try to get back to your Simon. Sorry. I, so I, I do it. Oh, you do it? Okay. Go ahead. You read it. You can read it. This is Simon, everybody. Simon, is it one paragraph or two paragraphs? <laughs> huh. I was looking. So Simon, is yours one paragraph or two paragraphs? Teacher Brandon, because yeah. some parents didn't was was still talking when the class yeah. is on. Can uh, I? Can I? Whenever you invite a student, mm -hmm. can you unmute them? Do you know how okay. to do oh, it? Yes, I have to unmute him. Okay. Yeah. Well, okay. So I temporarily yeah. unmute everyone. Mute everyone. All right. Yeah. 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 All right. Please. So I was still looking for his, so we should move on. Let me find one more student for tonight. I just want to share two of these in the big room. Um, so let me see. Amy, are you there? Hey, there's Simon. Simon, do you want to read? <laughs> Simon, say, I can do it myself. Okay, Simon. All right. All right. Let's see. We have some more. I'll go to somebody else in a second because you're you had um, Simon, your thing is on mute. So you have to turn it off mute. OK. All right. So let me see one moment, please. I want to go to uh, Tintin. Tintin, are you there? Tintin also wrote a, a long one. This is interesting. Okay, I'm going to go to Tintin this time. Tintin, are you there? Tintin, where are you? There's Tintin. Hey, Tintin. Tintin. Can you unmute them when you invite them, please? Yeah, I, I can only hit you ask did? to unmute. So I said ask to unmute. She has to unmute yeah. herself. Okay, yeah, Tintin, yeah, yeah. Uh, hey, Tintin, are you okay? Yeah. Okay, Tintin, can you read what you wrote here? I'll put this on share screen. This is good. I enjoyed reading this. And this is for Tintin. Okay, and is it too small? Should I make it bigger? Uh, no, it's okay. Okay, here we go. This is Tintin. Kindness is what we can see in the first photo. This photo shows a boy that has fallen from his bike on the road. The, boys, the boy appears to have had an injury. A woman is running from a car towards him. It seems as the woman is trying to help the injured boy. The boy is probably worried about something. In the end, the boy is mo most likely to end up in the hospital. Teamwork is what we see in the second photo. The second photo shows several workers at work building a house. It looks as if these workers are working hard. What these people are showing in the photo is excellent teamwork and coordination. All the workers are all using helmets to protect themselves, though they do not have anything to secure themselves on the house. In the end, the workers are probably exhausted. The third photo shows a class of kids. They are all holding their hands up. It looks like they are learning about nature because of the picture of a tree. The kids seem to all know the answer. It is also a sunny day outside. All the kids look happy. In the end, the kids are probably happy with their project. Yeah, I'm tempted. I'm just going to take away this R. 
And it's just the kids look happy. That's fine. Hey, Tintin, I wrote very good work. You were spelling photo with a PH, uh, with F O. That's the German style, right? F O T O. By the way, Tintin, did you see I put the uh, Tintin? That's the famous Tintin cartoon. Tintin and his friend. Okay, Tintin, um, this is excellent. This is really well written. There's really nothing wrong with this. This is a wonderful um, set of three paragraphs. Um, and I think there's just really nothing to say about this. The only thing is don't use contractions like it's, and I'm gonna tell that to all of the students tonight. It should be it is for academic, formal writing, school writing, all right? So you have to say it is, okay? Um, it's okay now if you're like nine, 10, 11 years old, but when you're 12 and 13 and 14 and you go to an American middle school or junior high school, then you have to write it out as it is like that, right? So Tintin, you're 12 years old, right? Or 13. So maybe it's best to start using it is. Is that okay? Okay, I'm gonna stop the share there and go back. Good work, Tintin. Um, now, let me just quickly talk to the main teacher. Christina, are you there? Hi, I'm here. How are Christina, you? Pretty good. I have a problem with muting and unmuting these boys and girls, but well, I hope <laughs> to solve it, these guys. Yeah, okay, so, I will. Christina, do you have access if we do a share screen? Um, and... Um, if you wanted to pick two students in the breakout rooms to read their work, um, we should do the breakout rooms first. We have three teachers, myself and you and the other. Um, I can stay in the main room if you want to go in there with Summer, have your own group. Um, and if you are in the breakout room, can you um, have access to these um, homework sheets that the students did? Their, their homework sheets? Yeah, it would. Um, here's the file. I'll show you the file. It looks like this. Save this. And let's see where it is. Yeah, it's still up here. Oh, on the I, I, I see it. I think yeah. I have one. You yep. have it. Okay, good. It looks like this, you know. I just don't know by clicking on that. Could you get that in the um, in the breakout rooms? Yes. Oh, okay, will. good. How about Summer? Can you access this too, Summer, if you're in the breakout rooms? Um, I, I haven't experienced that, so uh, uh, actually, I don't know. Um, oh, yeah, because it might be difficult technically to do this. Um, Summer, if you want, you and I can go into one breakout room and Christine will be in the other. Christina, so that would leave about, let's check the number of students tonight, uh, 28 students. There'll be big great, um, breakout rooms of 14 students each. So we have two teachers assistants tonight. We have Summer and Wait. Christina. You, um, the co-host, you don't need to be in the breakout room. Oh, but the reason why I'm going to join the breakout room is because Summer maybe needs help accessing the original writing. So yeah. she needs um, access to the homework sheets. So that's why I would join her in the breakout room if you're yeah. interested. Yeah. Okay. So can, can you leave one teacher in the main room for me, please? Yeah, okay. Um, let's see. If there's one teacher in the main room, then there is only going to be... She'll be in the main room with about 14 students, and I'll be yeah. in the breakout room with uh, 14 students with uh, Summer. Okay, so okay. we'll do two breakout rooms, uh, one breakout room and one main room, I guess. Yeah, so maybe, uh, yeah. Teacher Summer, would you be able? Yeah, say it again, uh, Ms. Lip. Hmm. I think her connection is not really good. Uh, okay. Would you like to do it? Oh, Christina, can you, one of the can you repeat that? Because <laughs> I, I think your Wi Fi connection is not stable. No, um, I asked if you are able to do the breakout room, so I would have be happy to be here and helping you to do the breakout room instead of I draw, I do it myself. So next class, one of the teacher will be able to do it. Yes, I can be in charge of one breakout rooms on my own. I, I think I can do it too, but just um, give me the uh, instruction how to uh, uh, yeah. reach the, the document by students. That's yeah, I'm gonna, that's why I'm going to join Summer in her breakout room so she and I can look at the documents together. You'll have access to my share screen, Summer. So you yep. can ask the students. Sorry, questions. my question is, 
um, where we will teach a Brandon or any of the TA be able to create a breakout room, not yes. manage, not, yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, All right. So if Christina, would you like to stay in the main room is what they call it, and then that will be Summer and I in just one breakout room? Yeah, I'm fine with that. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right, let's so, get started uh, on that. Though. Um, so I will create mm -hmm. one breakout room. Is that fine? Yeah, I believe so, because then that leaves all the other students. Well, I don't know, Ms. Duke, if you create one breakout room, will that... Um, yeah, will that you can. Oh, you can. So it will leave, will it, it'll leave 14 in the main room and 14 in the breakout room? Yeah. Or if you can have, it's, it's up to if you have enough teacher. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we do. So it'll be Christina in the breakout room, and then Summer, you and I will stay in this main room. And this way we could do maybe two students each um, for their thing. All right, would you like to create the breakout rooms, Dr. Duke? So I, I will create one breakout room and I will let yeah. the participant choose the room they will be in. Is that well, okay? automatically, I guess they could yeah, just- automatically. Yeah, automatically. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So let's see, I don't have the and don't include the co-host. So yeah. the co-host can choose the room themselves. Yeah. But the oh. automatic aside the, the participant, please. Yeah. Um, do you have the breakout room function, Dr. Duke? I don't see it on mine. I think um, all on the co-host be able to see it. Yeah. Yeah, I, I see it too. So I think I, I can uh, create too. Yeah. But okay. Christina, so have you guys seen the breakout room yet? Yeah, I haven't seen it either. Uh, someone have to create it. That's my question before. Yeah. Is it Did some you of it, you? Is, yeah, that, is that okay, everyone? Is that how you seen the room? Okay. Yep. I, yep. I, it's okay, been created. Going to the breakout room. Sorry. Oh, thank you. All right, I'm just going to stay in this main room with whomever and get it ready. I believe it's summer, and then I'll um, I'll get the file ready here for her so she can pick one. Oh, and I'll only pick the um, student who is in the um, main room with us. Okay, so sorry. I will join the breakout room. And I'll yeah, be so you'll be here room. with me? Okay. I should go join summer. I hope she, hey, summer, do you want to put me in your breakout room then? Uh, I think there's there is only one room uh now, right, Christina? Did you yes. create yes. only one room? So, uh, I so are you moving students into the room? No, they're already in there for you. If you just join the room, I'll join you too. But if you can put me in the breakout room because I don't have access to breakout rooms for some reason. You're supposed to to be access to that one. Yeah, assigned to it. Can can I give you some uh how to do it, right? Um, teacher Brandon, can yeah. on the screen, hmm. um, maybe if you click on more, there is the breakout rooms. Oh yeah, yeah, and click join. There is uh, only one room, so you join. No, it's when I hit more, it just says start focus mode. I don't have. I'm looking for it here. I don't see what happened. Would you? Okay, there is um like four square. Yeah. On the screen, it show breakout rooms and join breakout rooms. Will you be able to see it? No, I still can't. I can't see it. It's really strange. Okay. I haven't seen it before like this. Um, okay, now let I see if uh, maybe Christina or Summer, uh, would you want to add? Uh, would you want to I'm add ready. Brandon? Yeah. Yeah, add me to the breakout room, and then one of the teachers jump in there. Probably Summer though. Summer, um. Can I move some of the students out of the main room? Because I think yes. most students just go to the room already. Yes, yes. Move them out, please. Yes. I, I will just move randomly. Yeah, because I, I see that all of the students are all are in the breakout room, yeah. right? Not in this main room. So, yeah, move them back. Yes. Um, I will just get, randomly like, for, team, for this room, yeah.
Hi, everyone. Because some of them haven't moved to the main room yet. Hi. Hi. Hello. I think some of them are still in the back room. Is that eleven with the room right now? Out. I think that probably enough. So hi everyone. Um, I think. Um, so Summer, will you will you go to the other hotel room or you stay here? Um how can I join the other room? Um or, or you and me can stay here while Brandon work in the other room. Yeah, I suggest so because I don't know how to move to the other room. Uh yeah, really. Uh maybe you could stay here with me so we work together. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. Um, so now we will start um, looking at your homework. Uh, maybe we will start with um, let's see who we have here. Um, Alice, Alice 10 from Ho Chi Minh. Are you there? Yes? Okay. Yes. Yes, teacher. Alice, mm, have you submitted your yes, teacher? Files? Yes. Let me take a look at your homework. Um, Alice, I don't think I see Alice. Is that you, Alice? Um. No, it's A L E X. Alex. Alice. I don't think I see your homework, Alex. Um, you sure you write your name? You sure you write your name? No. No, I write lesson one and Alex. Hmm, lesson one. Is that is that this one? Roy? No. So um make sure you write the, your name. The lesson the one friend. and Alex. I see it here. You see? Which one? Yeah, I, I don't see. It. Just about this one. Oh my um, god. I have, oh, this one, this right? One. Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right. So you guys see in the document, right? Okay, so can you read it out for me, Alex? Yeah. Uh, there's a school with a lot of students, but this class is full of happy students. They are waiting for their turn to answer. They were so excited that they wait more and more for their turn. They know more and more, and they become smarter, and they pass the high school exam of their dreams. Mm. And I have a para um the second paragraph in Yes. Can you um continue with that one please in the city center? Okay. Uh in the city center, there is a built house that someone wants to build as a boarding house. So, that person hired eight workers who were building a boarding house. They are very hardworking, unite, and all very smart. They are very careful. If they are not careful, 
the hell will not be complete. In a few days, this hell will be complete. That's very good. I think that's a really nice work. Just as um, just some mistake here and there. The first one when you using the present simple in here and here, right? So you have to continue use are who are building the boarding house. And this one we use United, United, and Teacher, come. But I don't see, but I don't see my document. Oh, <gasps> really? Yes. Oh, let me share again. Sorry. All right. Can you see okay. it now? Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. Okay. Um, I'm sorry. It completed. Completed. I think it's really nice work. Beautiful work, actually. So great job, Alex. Yes. Thank, Thank you. you. Um, I think we just move to another another work. Then we have Nick, Alice, Max. Okay. Let me see. Hmm. Do you guys see your work in this list? Please raise your hand, please. <laughs> I'm trying to say time. Um, Selenians, is that you? Celine? How yes. Um, do I pronounce your name correctly? Celian. Celian, thank you. I will share the screen. Do you see my screen now? Is your work on the screen? Uh, not yet. Not yet. All right. All right, is that okay now? Uh, yes. Yes. All right, thank you. Can you read your work for, for us, please? Yes. The picture I chose is about a man who fell off his bike on the road. He is mm. holding his head in his hands, and it seems like his head hurts a lot. He wears a blue helmet, so it helps a bit. His bike is on his leg, which is on the ground. In the background, a woman is running toward the man. She left her white car hurriedly, leaving the car's door open. The car might have hit the man because it is a bit damaged in the front. Or maybe the man fell off his bike in on his own because the car is a bit far from the man. Wow. This is somewhere. What do you think? Summer, are you there? Uh, I'm here. <laughs> yes. What do you think? Yeah, uh, I like the writing. Very good work. Uh, I can see here uh, teacher Brandon has corrected some uh, very uh, minor mistakes. Um, yeah. Mm. Yes, just minor mistake, like the fruit and nails, and it seems like it has hers a lot. Uh, Christina, how can I cannot um I cannot uh, do anything with the document because it's from your screen, right? Um, I think so. You can go to the the teacher group on Zello app and download the work of the students, and then you could access to that. Okay. Yeah, I think that clarities make the most conventionals. Yeah, and what I like the most is the writer voice. Excellence, Celine. It's beautiful work, I must Thank say. Thank you. I think you read books a lot because I think your voice, I can see your personality reflect from your writings. I love that. Thank you. I think we could have more time for one more, right? Yeah, maybe. Um, to to what what do we have here? Can you teach us somewhere? Can you see? Is there any name of the student appear here in our group? Uh, hello, Alex. Alice, Alice. This one, and this one, right? Yeah, yeah, that that's the one. All right, Alice. Hello, Alex. Hi. Uh, yes. 
Yes. Oh, cute baby. Can you read your work for us, please? Can you share the screen again, Christina? Because Oh, yeah. yeah, it It's happened happening again. again. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Anytime. Yeah. All right. Can you can you read your work for us, please? A memorial afternoon. It was a cold and bright morning. John woke up in a street in a sweet, notable chirping song of the morning sparrow. He yawned loudly and got out of bed. He brushed his teeth, combed his hair, and got dressed. He sniffed a delicious scent. His tumble growled. He raced down for breakfast. John finished licking the last drop of golden dripping cheese, his crumpled toast, and drinking the white creamy milk. He got off the dining table and walked towards the front door. He opened the door and stepped into the morning light. The morning air smelled fresh and warm. The sky was like a huge aqua, aqua mirror. The small, thin, and weak sunlight rays and played together in the, in the sky. John sniffed and smiled. It was the air that made him feel confident to start a bright new day. Little nightingales and Hungry pigeons swooped down to pick bits of rice. Such a wonderful start. Just then, John heard a chatter in the mailbox. A letter arrived. John was half nervous, half excited. He really wants to see what was inside. The letter was written with his name and his friend's names, Jessica. He ran inside, uh, upstairs and into his bedroom. He carefully opened the envelope and read the contents. Then John jumped for joy. He was invited to Jessica's party. John spent the whole afternoon preparing a present. Then he rode his bike to the party. When he was in the highway, his bike tripped into a large stone and crashed. He fell down the road. He felt really un unlucky to end up on an empty highway. But he could, but he can't move his leg. The left leg was broken and his right arm was covered in bruise. John was in dis despair. There was no one on the highway to help him. Now, John was alone. His left leg was hurting very much. He felt, so he felt very much at risk. Fortunately for him, a tall woman came out to help him. The, the woman drove him to the hospital. The nurse and the doctor wrapped him, wrapped his left leg with a thick pearl color and soft fabric. John thanks the woman. He felt better after all. He thought to himself to be more careful next time. Wow. That's a big wow. Oh my God. Yeah, I agree. Long Wow. story. Very nice. I think at the same level as the student in New Zealand that I work at. Oh my God. <laughs> How old are you, Alice? I'm 10. Oh my God. You're genius. That's a great work huh, for that age. Wow, I'm so, Bravo. I'm so impressed. Wow, you're so good. You'll be a writer someday, Alice. Beautiful work, I must say. Just very minor mistake, but your 
the way you used vocabulary is just such a big wow. Is it so, Summer? I uh, absolutely agree with you. Um, amazing. Um, I don't think I can write this. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Alice, yeah. Uh, such a good work. Yeah. Uh, with, at your age, I mean, uh, you must have read uh, like lots of books and with a good uh, imagination. Yeah. Bravo. Yes. I think it's time for us to come back to the men rooms and we. Yeah. Okay, um, thank you so much they for the, the students. Uh, they move themselves. They they will be well, go back to the main room after forty seven seconds. Ah, okay. Yes. Well, I am very. I'm so impressed. I don't think I really can write this beautiful work myself. <laughs> Though I read book every day, I think Alice would become a great writer in the future. What do you want to do in the future, Alice? <laughs> I don't know. You don't know. Brandon, do you think Alice's work is amazing? Beautiful. Oh, I love it. Alice, I'm sorry. I didn't use your work last week, and I promise I'll show it tonight because you did a nice thing, and I can't believe I forgot to show it, Alice. Can you <laughs> give me... I have those amazing books myself. <laughs> and she worked so hard on it. I'm so sorry, Ellis. Ellis, I'm going to find it on my desktop. Um, and then I promise I'm going to show it to you guys because I, I feel terrible. Summer, how was your session with the uh, students? Oh, great. Yeah. Um, um, I, I, you know, I, I feel uh, really uh, amazing by the, the work of the students. Uh, they yeah. did really well at, you know, at this, uh, this age. Yeah. They all have different strengths. Some of them are really good about writing a clause with a comma just nicely, but then others are really good with the vocabulary. And then some of them are really good with changing their verb tenses, you know. I see three main strengths there and they all, they're all different. <laughs> so it's interesting right. for me, right? I'm so impressed. I am impressed too. You guys, I'm gonna <laughs> do this for you guys if you guys are listening. Susu, hey Susu, you weren't in my breakout room, so somebody else read your paper. I'm sorry about that, Miss Susu from Hanoi. In, in Japan, we say gomen nasai. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Thanks, Susu. That's very kind of you. Um, you guys, I just want to see if I can find this wonderful thing here that is a PowerPoint on my desktop. Uh, the PowerPoint that. Um, uh, Let's see, oh, that's a really long time ago. Um, I'll find Ellis's PowerPoint um, in a little while. I'll find it, I promise, okay. All right, are you guys ready? How is your energy? Are you still good? Is your energy still good? All right, we have to go to this main lesson now for today because I promised you we would have a main lesson for today. And I'm gonna call this up so we can read this together. And this is the fun part. I really like this because I prepared this. Uh, I changed this for today and I really enjoyed writing this. Okay, can everybody see this pretty well? We have today, we are going to learn about the main idea of a paragraph. Let me ask Susu, do you know the main idea? Did your teacher at school teach you main idea? Uh, no. Okay, main idea is if you write a paragraph, what's the number one important thing you want to tell people who are reading your paragraph? What's this, what's so important about your paragraph? You know, like, why should we read it? What's the big impact? Why is it an interesting one, right? So we'll talk about that. What is a main idea? We'll have some examples for you, I promise. So I put it here. The main idea of a paragraph is what the paragraph is about. Finding the main idea is sometimes easy because it is, it is the very first sentence of a paragraph, usually. Sometimes teachers and students call this the topic sentence. So main idea and topic sentence are almost the same thing, you guys. The main idea is usually found in the topic sentence, the first sentence of the paragraph. The topic sentence and main idea can be almost the same thing, but be careful. Sometimes good writers start off with a sentence or question that is not the main idea. And I'll show you that in the blue writing here. But instead, something to grab, get the reader's attention. And the main idea can present itself in sentence number two. So we're going to study both examples. What's strange is the first example is putting the topic sentence is a question in the very first sentence. 
Here's your first exercise. Read this paragraph and decide what it is about. What is the main idea here? Let me ask a student who likes to read. Ellis, you are there. Ellis um, from Ho Chi Minh City. Would you like to read the blue paragraph, please, for everybody? Yes. OK. Which game is older, basketball or American football? Both of these games are more than a hundred years old, but football got started just about 15 years before basketball did. Soccer is even older than both basketball and football. Soccer is recognized as an official sport with strict rules by the British British mm. government in 1863. 63. Yeah. This means official soccer, not just kicking a ball around a schoolyard, came 12 years before American football got started. Yeah, so when I say just kicking around, Ellis, what that means is schoolboys would just kick the ball and make up their own rules and they would have teams. But from different schools all over England, they had different rules. So finally, in 1863, the government created official rules for soccer. So they use 1863 as the very first start of the official soccer. But boys were kicking balls around in English schools for about 100 years before. Um, so it's the official start. Okay, I'm gonna ask you guys, what is this paragraph about? And you have some choices. Can you guys raise your hand and show me that you guys are listening and everything? Um, we have Amy and Taro and Roy, and we have Tuong. All right, Jeffy, Jeffy raised his hand. Ben from Hanoi raised his hand. Hey, Ben from Hanoi, would you like to read? What is this about? You have three choices. We have football yes. is older than basketball. Soccer is the oldest game of all the sporting events. The games we play have been around for many years. What's the paragraph about? What's its main idea? The, the paragraph is about which game is older, basketball or American football? Well, it's good. It's good. But maybe there's uh, one. That's Yeah, that's the first sentence. That's what it's going to be about. But if you had to choose down here, do you see these here, Ben? Football yeah. is older than basketball. Soccer is the oldest game of all the sporting events. The games we play. Which do you think is the better sort of main idea? The games we play have been around for many years. I swear. Was that Ben? Yay. Ben, you did it. You got it. That's the great main idea. And you guys, do you see what Ben did? He read the first question, which game is older, American football or this one? But that's probably just a lead-in question, right? What we want to do is if we had to put this here, this, and I'm going to make this highlight, the games we play have been around for many years. That's the best main idea. It's what this blue paragraph is all about, right? And so I'm going to put here, do you think we could use, and I'm going to back this up, do you think we could use the games people play have been around for many years? answer. Do you think we could use that as the first sentence? And I made a mistake there, you guys. Oh, no. I'm going to change this to around. Around. Okay. Now, let me ask um, Tuong Kuang Min. Is there? Kuang Min is there. Hey, Kuang Min, how are you? Yes, I'm here. How are you? I'm good. Can you help me with your name? Is it Truong? No. How do you say it? Min. Min is best. Okay, Min, that's a cool name. Hey, Min, do you see the question I asked here? Um, do you think we could use the games people play have been around for many years as our first sentence? Could we use that as like a uh, topic sentence? Um, yeah. I think yes. Yeah, let me show you how it looks like. I'm going to have to jump all the way. Well, I'll erase this later because I'm going to use this tomorrow, Sunday, right? And I'm going to put um, the games people play have been around. Oh, for 
many years. And then um, maybe this question here would sound a little strange, um, but I would take this out, you guys, to make this a better paragraph. I would take this question out and I would say, um, American football and basketball, American football oh, and basketball are more than 100 years old. Okay, so now I changed it. Hey, Sophia, good to see you. Sophia, I read your paragraph in the uh, breakout rooms. So Sophia, if you can uh, turn your um, thing on from Sophia. Hello, Sophia. Sophia, are you there? Sophia, can you hear me? I don't hear Sophia. Spooky, Bach. Oh, Sophia, okay, Sophie. Sophia, can you read the blue paragraph? Okay. The games people play have been around for many years. American football and basketball are more than 100 years old, but football got started about 15 years before basketball did. Soccer is even older than both basketball and football. Soccer was recognized. Oh, your thing went out, um, Sophia. The government in 1863. Yeah. This means official soccer, not just kicking a ball around a schoolyard, came 20, 12 years yeah. before American football got started. Very good. Nice work. Hey, Ben from Hanoi, you have a question? Ben, no, Ben. No, 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 oh, no, no, I don't have a question. Okay. Let me ask Amy, Amy from Hanoi. Amy, do you see how I took the games people play have been around for many years and I made it the new topic sentence? It's the topic sentence, you guys, and I can put that here and I'm going to make it bold, but it's also the main idea. So do you see how that works? It's kind of cool, isn't it? So that's your topic sentence. All right. So next one. Uh, Max, are you there? Oh, yes, of course. Hey, Max, nice to see you today. Uh, Max, here's another paragraph. Can you read this blue one here? Uh, I got up this morning before 6 o'clock. I took a shower and got dressed for school. Then I helped my mom get breakfast ready for the whole family. By the time my brothers and sister got up, I had already finished eating. I brushed my teeth and put it, my backpack on. Then I stood at the corner of the busy street near my house. It was the first day of, of school, mm. and I was excited. I was so excited. I waited at the corner very early, and I waited for 20 minutes for the bus to come to take me to school. Nice work. Really good work, Max. Nice. I really like your reading voice. It's sweet. All right. So can I ask uh, Mr. Spooky Bach? That's <laughs> such a great name. Hey, Spooky Bach, what is this paragraph about? And that's here. We I, I got ready for school early. I made breakfast for my family. I always brush my teeth after breakfast. What do you think, Spooky? Um, <laughs> I don't really know. Okay, that's fine. Can I go to Ariel? Ariel from Binduang. Hello, Ariel with the Hello Kitty. Hello. Hello. How are you, Ariel? I'm good. Hey, Ariel, what do you think this paragraph is about? We have, I got ready for school early. I made breakfast for my family. I always brush my teeth after breakfast. What's the best choice? I think I got ready for school early. It's oh, nice work. Months. Ariel, you got it. It's wonderful. Thank you. You guys are really good tonight. So you guys, I got ready for school early. And let's ask uh, Alex, are you there? Hey, hey, Alex from Ho Chi Minh City, Mr. Alex. Alex, Alex, yes, how are you? Yes, teacher. Good to see you. Hey, Alex, do you see this? I got ready for school early. Do you think we could put that right here? Does this sound good? I'm going to ask you, 
I got ready for school early. Do you think that makes a good topic sentence, a good main idea? And I'll put this in bold. If I put it right up here, do you think that's a good no. thing? No, why not? <laughs> why not, Alex? Yes. Wait, wait, wait. Yes, it's okay. It's okay. I suppose what we could do, I got ready for school early is excellent. Um, I got up this morning before six o'clock. Um, yeah, we could leave that there, I guess. That's not bad. Um, I took a shower and got dressed for school. Okay, so it's a new way to read it. Uh, let's see. Amy, are you there from Hanoi? Amy? Yes. How are you, Amy? I'm fine, thanks. Yeah, I think I saw you in the breakout room, so sorry I asked you how you are two times. Um, Amy, would you like to read the new blue and see how it sounds? Okay, uh, I got ready for school mm. early. I got up this morning before six o'clock. I took a shower and got dressed for school. Mm. Then I helped my mom get breakfast ready for the whole family. By the time my brothers and sister got up, I had already finished eating. I brushed my teeth and put my backpack on. Then I stood at the corner uh, on the busy street near my house. It was the first day of school and I was excited. I was so excited. I waited at the corner very early and I waited for 20 minutes for the bus to come to take me to school. Yeah. Amy, do you think it's well written? Mm, I think yes. Yeah. It's what's called a descriptive paragraph. She describes going to school early because she's so excited. And so it's okay to use I because it's there. Let's quickly just go back up to this other one. Games people play American football. It's describing football, but there's no I here, you guys, because this is more about history of basketball, soccer, and um, American football. So you wouldn't use I here. It's just blah, 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 but no I. But when you get to here, this is where the I starts because it's a personal story or a description. So do you guys see the difference there? They're a little bit different. Hey, Nick, how are you today? We have Nick. Nick, are you there? Nick in the white room. Hey, Nick, yeah. yes. how are you? Um, Nick, I'm good. Yeah. when I say it's a description paragraph, it's okay to use I. And then this is a history one, so there's no I. Do you understand that? Yes. Okay. So do you write for school many of these sort of history ones, right? Do you use yeah. the I one so much? Um, yes, I think yeah. so. So you're about 13 years old. I think maybe you're switching over to these social studies style, right? Where the teacher yeah. says, don't use I, huh? Okay. Yeah. Okay, just checking, Nick. All right, you guys. So from the answers up above, how would this look? We did this. It's the topic sentences. I got ready for school early. That's very good. Drafty, are you there? You want a question? Drafty, no. Drafty. Okay. No. Drafty, do you, remember, yes. do you remember your question? What? <laughs> you I didn't question? Ask anything. Oh, okay. Your hand is up here. It says Drafty has a question. All right, you guys, that's fine. All right, so get ready for the breakout rooms. We're gonna go to breakout rooms again, you guys. And um, you and your classmates will read okay. each of the paragraphs. Can I show you a shocking photo, you guys? <gasps> what is that? Oh my God, isn't that crazy? Tara, what do you think? What is that picture? Uh, it, I think it's a snack. Yeah. It's snack and it. And the snack is eating the, alica, the crocodile. Yeah, it's eating the crocodile. Taro, do you have crocodiles in Vietnam? Uh, in the Mekong River, really? Yeah. Hey, Max, do you have crocodiles in Vietnam? Uh, yes. Are they dangerous? Um, not yet. But uh, I yeah. have 
I have seen the I have saw the crocodile before. That's yeah, a yeah. So let me ask you, uh, Max, does the snake have a big mouth? Uh, snake's mouth is, uh, isn't very big. Yeah, but you know what they can do? They can stretch their mouth and make it really big. <laughs> yeah. Sophia, what do you think of the snake crocodile? Is that a scary picture? Is Sophia there? Hey, Sophia. <laughs> What do you think of this picture? Is it terrible? I'm just having some problem with the thing. Hey, Roy. Roy, Roy, are you there? Yes. Hey, Roy, what do you think about this snake swallowing an alligator or crocodile? Is it scary? Yeah, I think it's scary. Yeah, it's really scary. I believe so. All right. Let me ask um, someone to read. Ellis, are you there again? Yes. Ellis, can you read the blue one? Snakes are interesting animals. They do not have any legs, so they move around by wiggling their entire body. They also do not have eyelids, so their eyes are always open. Most snakes can swallow things that are bigger than its head. These features and more make snakes interesting animals. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> I will do the breakout rooms with Christina and Summer and I one more time if you guys are there. And um, Ashley has a question. Ashley, would you like to ask a question first before we do breakout rooms again? Um, actually, that's not... Actually, I'm I'm raising my hand not for um a question, but anyways, I yeah. I, I I want I want to to describe the this this random snake swallow an alligator anyways. Okay, you can describe it, Ashley. That's fine. Um. So the 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 value of this picture is never on 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 this this made animals, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, snakes are interesting animals. Can I um, make this nice and bold, Ashley? I'll put this bold. You guys, Ashley found the main idea, which is also the topic sentence. Nice work, Ashley. Snakes are interesting animals. Do you guys see how it's really short? It's just, it just has a lot of power. Snakes are interesting animals. Ashley, do you think snakes are interesting animals? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Simon too. Hey, Simon. Snakes are at the top yeah. of three, my, my most favorite animal. Do you have but, I think, but I think snakes are very dangerous because snakes... I, I know, I know that there are, there are poison types. There are some poison types. Yeah. Yeah. There are some, there are some, there are some difficult types. Mm. That are, yeah. Or the snake have some toxic to kill some people or yeah, snake poison. just there are some people. Yeah. But, Good work, Simon. But to be honest with you... Mm. As 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 long as the snake is harm harmless and and, and it doesn't it doesn't have any poison venom, it, it can be a pet. I I used to have a pet pet yeah. snake before, but 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 my mom sent then send the snake sit back to the 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 pet store being because she thinks she Hey Simon she, and Ashley do you have too. do you have the really big ones in Vietnam? Because no. in Myanmar they have the really big one, and in India. No, I, I, I have, I have seen, seen a snake one. Be, beside, I, I, I brought, I brought a pet snake. Okay. But, but for now, it, it, it it's still. I don't big. have, I don't have this snake like this. <laughs> so you guys do like snakes, though. That's interesting. Okay, you guys got it right. Um, so, Ashley, you answered the question. I'm going to put this here. Maybe we don't have to go to the breakout rooms because we only have 20 minutes left. So, Ashley, I'm going to put your answer here. Um, you wrote, snakes are interesting animals, okay? Okay. So, you got it. You got the answer. It's very good. You guys, I'm going to put that in the color red because Ashley did a nice job of that. And I'm surprised that Simon and Ashley both like snakes. That was kind of cool. All right, so you got it. Um, next one, let's try another one. This one I want you to do in the breakout rooms though. So you have maybe just 
quick five minutes in a breakout room. So I'm going to stop the share just for now. And let me just see if I can do this because I want to have Summer and Christina to get, have another chance. Hello, Summer. Nice to see you again. And uh, let's see if Christina, hey, Christina, sorry, I'm going on and on. These guys were excited about snakes. <laughs> it's cute. Would you guys like to do another breakout room? Is it Summer, you have control of the breakout rooms again? Uh, yes, I'm okay. Okay, you know, if you just throw me in any room, I'm okay. Um, my only question is, though, do you have access to this um, page here on the... Um, yes, I do. Okay, if you have it, then you can, you know, just um, have the students try this exercise. And okay. it takes only about five minutes. Okay. Okay, let's, you guys, let's go to two breakout rooms and see if you guys can get this one with your teacher, Summer. And it could be that Christina and I are in the other big room, the main room. All Whichever. right. So, okay. Summer, so I'm, you went to the breakout room, right? I'm going to uh, recreate, right? Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah, yes. okay. You can. Okay. Um, yes. Recreate. So get ready, you guys. We're going into outer space again. <laughs> Think of yourself, you're astronauts. You're going on a secret mission. And I will see you in five minutes, about 1045, we'll come back together. And then I'll give you your homework. Oh, oh no. So uh, actually I saw room one. Yeah. Okay, oh, room one. <laughs> well, I don't know. It seems like we're having problems with breakout rooms today. Uh, it's okay. I mean, we could stay in the main room. I just wanted Christina and Summer to have a chance to work with the kids, right? And this one is called Getting Lost in a Crowd. So Summer or Christina, would you like to pick a student who can read for us? Um, yes, let me see. Um, is there anyone who haven't spoken today? Yeah. Um, How about Max? Um, Max has been quiet and he has a nice reading voice. What do you think? I think, I think we could, in, we should invite um, Celine from France. Yeah, Selena from France. Did you join us, Selena? <coughs> uh, yes. Okay. Where is she? I didn't see you join. I'm sorry about that, Selena, because I always think it's cool you come from France. There you are, Celiana. Hey, Celiana, am I saying your name okay, Celiana? Uh, Cillian. Cillian. All right, Cillian, you have a nice reading voice. Cillian, can you read the blue one called Getting Lost in a Crowd? Get, oh. Getting lost in a crowd can be frightening. It is only natural for a child to want to look around for the person mom or dad he or she was with. But wandering around is not safe. The child should stay in one place and wait. That way, the parents will be able to find the child. Parents should teach this as early as possible. Yeah, what do you think, Cillian? Is it kind of a serious topic? Yes. Do you see this? I did wandering around. Do you guys know wandering around? Because sometimes we're using big vocabulary words, right? Wandering around. Cillian, do you know that one? Uh, yes. Yeah. Let me ask you, is it wandering around, just walking around? relaxed or is it going directly to something uh wandering around is just walking around yeah walking around um relaxing hey ariel do you have a question no ariel. oh okay your hand is raised I don't know, you guys sometimes raise your hand so Cillian, what is the main idea here um I'll give you a hint. Check the first sentence. Getting lost in the crowd can yeah. be frightening. Yep, getting lost in the crowd can be frightening. In a crowd can be frightening. So do you see it's the topic sentence for this short paragraph, but it's also the main idea. And that's pretty cool. It makes it easy for you guys, right? Okay, now here I wrote, um, well, let me ask a question. Hey, Simon, do you have a question? You have your hand up. Yes. Simon, do you ever wander around with your friends in the park 
or some shopping or something or at school? Uh, at school. At school, okay. So is it good to wander around in school, but not in a shopping mall, right? Yes. Yeah, that's a good idea. You guys are smart. That's intelligent. You don't want to wander around a shopping center by yourself. I, um, I scared, I'll get lost. Yeah, that's true. And that's what this is. The boy gets lost. It says, please stay in your one place. Don't keep looking, walking and looking for your mom and dad. It said, do you see this, you guys? I'm going to put this in black letters. The book I used to do this, it teaches you guys some good lessons. So the child should stay in one place and wait. That's the best advice they give you. Hey, Ben, are you there? Yes, I am. How are you, Ben? I'm fine. Okay. Hey, Ben, did you notice this writing getting lost in a crowd that no contractions are used? You say, what's a contraction? It's right. It's writing don't like here and isn't and this kind of thing. These are called contractions when you push words together. But if you look at this, there are no contractions. So I noticed in your writing, you guys use a lot of contractions. It's okay for speaking or writing text messages to your friends, but try not to use it in your actual writing. So that's one of today's big things. Try not to use, do you see this one here? It's only natural for a child. And so we want to write, it yeah. is only natural. Right? So, did, so did you guys know that? that we don't want to use contractions in writing. We want to write it full out like this. It is only natural for a child to go and find his mom and dad, right? Um, it says, it is only natural for a child to want to look. And that means you go looking for your mom and dad and it is, it is, right? So don't say it's, try not to use it's, okay? So that's one of our goals for tonight's homework is try not to use it's, all right? Summer, would you like to pick another student? Yes, how about uh, Taro from Hanoi? Hey, Taro. Taro, are you there? Yes. Yeah. Okay, Taro. Hello, Taro. Do you see this blue one? I'm gonna make it all bold letter writing for you, Taro. Yeah. Can you read that one for us, please, Taro? Okay. I like to go to the store. I go with my sister, I do not usually buy anything, but she likes to buy colorful clothes. Okay, Taro, does this look good or should you change it? Mm. No. Uh, yes. Yeah. yeah, you want to change it? No. No? <laughs> Sophia, do you want to change this? Me? Yeah, what should we do? Mm, I don't have any idea what is. If I go like this, now do you see? And how about this? What am I doing? I'm taking away the commas and we're making complete sentences. Okay, so now we have three sentences. I like to go to the store. I go with my sister. I do not usually buy anything, but she likes to buy colorful clothes, right? So do you see, I took away those commas. They're not very good to use, you guys. All right, do you understand everybody? What I just did? So in your writing, don't use a lot of commas. You have to stop the sentence with a period. Here it's okay because you use but, but here and here you use period, period, okay? Susu, do you understand? Yeah, do you see it? Okay, Alice, do you see that? Yes. Yeah. Teacher. So you're stopping with a period, stopping with a period. Hey, um, Alice, can you read this one? I like to go to the store, and it's this one here. I like to go to the store with my sister. Even though I do not buy anything, my sister likes to buy colorful clothes. Yeah, colorful clothes, and your pronunciation's good, like close the door, close, okay? Hey, Alex, how are you? <laughs> Where is I'm Alex? I'm sorry, teacher. Alex? Let's yes, see. teacher? Do you see how we took these four sentences here? I like to go to the store, I go with my sister, I do not, like, this was four sentences before. And then do you see how we made it, we broke it into all these different pieces, right? 
But Alex, if I use this word, even though, do you know the word even though? Alex looks a little sleepy. That's okay. Let's go to Amy. Hey, Amy and Hanoi. Uh, no. Oh, you're okay? All right. Just checking. No problem. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Hey, Alex, do you, do you understand? You're a funny boy, Alex. Alex, do you understand even though, when we say even though? I don't know about it. Okay. You can say, even though I was really hungry in the morning, my teacher said, don't eat snacks in class, right? Even though. And so do you see this bold black right? He says, despite the fact that I was hungry, but that's a very high level way of talking. That's like writing a really important paper in high school or for college, right? So you can't, I mean, you can't say, despite the fact that I was hungry, the teacher said you must not eat in class. All right. Hey, Nick, let me ask you that question. Nick, you know, even though, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. Would you write in a school paper, despite the fact that, would you use that in a, in a writing? Mm, I don't use that because that is too high for me. Yeah, it is really high. You'll learn that around age 15 or 16. Hey, Simon, how are you? Simon looks like he has a question. Yes. Hey, Simon, do you know this word, even though it's actually two words? Oh, Simon, what happened? Simon disappeared. Hey, Max, do you know even though? Yes. Yeah. So can you say like, even though I should go to bed early, I stayed up late watching TV. Is it okay to use that way? Oh, yes. Yeah. Can you do an even though for us? Show us an even though. Uh, even though I was tired, mm. uh, I go to school. I went to school. Hey, nice work, Max. That's excellent. I'm going to give you a little applause. Nice work, Max. You guys understand even though. Now, the reason I um, underline this even though, I'm going to make it nice and big and strong for you guys, is because it's really good for your writing, you guys, to use even though in your writing. I think it's really good. Um, so next. I just want to review this, guys. It's a sentence. It's to help you with your homework. Um, here are the big four. How about if someone reads this for us? Min, are you still there? Hey, Min. You are you? me? Yeah, Min, can you read this part here? Because let us review what a sentence is, okay? Let us you... review what a sentence is. A sentence is a group of words that tells a complete dull yeah. talk. The sentence always begin with a capital letter. Yeah. A sentence always end with an end mark, either a period, a question mark, or an exclamation exclamation point. Yeah. Min, do you understand all those? Yes. Yeah, it's easy for you. No problem. Okay. Hey, Justin. Yes. Do you see the four points? A sentence is a group. A sentence always begins. What do you think? Is that a good way to describe what a sentence is? Yes. Yeah, I think so. Do you... Do you guys know how to use exclamation points? Let's ask, hey, Roy, do you know exclamation points? Um, um exclamation point yeah. is, is when, it, I think when, when we are surprised. Mm. Yeah, it's very good. Nice work, Roy. That's wonderful. Do you guys see it? Who can read that for me? Uh, hey, Max, you raised your hand. Question from Max. Uh, I know something from exclamation four point. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, used to uh, describe your feeling. Yeah, for feelings too. Very good. Do you see what I wrote there, Max? Can you read the teacher shouted? Uh, the teacher shouted, don't run in the hallway. Yeah, very nice. Does your teacher shout that at school? So you guys, I made it really big. Okay. All right. Are you ready for your homework, you guys? Oh, no. Homework. No. Oh, yes. Homework is good for you. It's like delicious food. You must eat it like vegetables and fruit, right? All right. Who do we have? Hey, Tintin from Germany. Are you there? 
who said no homework? Who was that? So no. Hey, Nick, can I ask you? So Nick, if you're there, you have a good yeah. voice. Can you yeah. read for, for tonight's homework? Can you read this paragraph? Okay. For tonight's homework, the focus is on getting the, that main idea or topic sentence clearly written, and then providing or giving three or four examples to support your main idea. Then end your paragraph with a nice conclusion sentence that goes back to your main idea without exactly repeating it. This means your concluding sentence repeats your topic sentence. But the words are a little bit different. Here is an example. But first, a picture of a ferret so everyone knows the animal we are talking about. Yeah, Nick, do you know ferrets? Um, yes. Do people keep them in Vietnam as pets? Mm, not much. Yeah, um, I know a lady in Japan who had a ferret in her house. And so yeah. she had many things to say about ferrets. So I'm going to go to this blue thing about the ferret. And let's see. Um, let's find somebody. Ariel, are you there with your Hello, Hello. Kitty? Yes, Ariel. I Ariel, can you read this? It's the blue thing. I do not think. I do not think ferrets are good pets. Ferrets cost more than other small pets, such as hamster, gerbils, or even rabbits. They recross quite a large cage, which is also costly. Mm. All small pets make messes, but fairies are messier and smellier than most. Fairies also chew on things and may cause harm both to themselves and to the other things they chew on. And the red part, for these reasons? For this reason, yeah. there is not make good pets. Yeah, that's the conclusion. Okay, very good. You got the conclusion. Hey, Alex, are you there? The main... Yes, teacher. Hey, Alex, what do you think the main idea is? It's the topic sentence or main idea in this story. What is the main idea? Um... Oh, I, I am more uh, read this and and when my um nine years old, um, okay. I no 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 that's okay. no no that's okay. We're talking about the blue thing here. That's fine. It's cute. I Let think the main I, I yeah. think the main idea in this is introduction about for it. Okay, and where do you see the introduction? Is it sentence number one or sentence number two? Uh, number two. Number two? <laughs> number two? <laughs> Susu? Are you there, Miss Susu? All right, let's go to Taro. Hey, Taro. Taro, what's the main idea of this story? I think the main idea of the story is a uh, ferret do not make good pets. Nice, you got it, Taro. Beautiful, here it is. You guys, the main idea or topic sentence is, I do not think ferrets are good pets. And these are the reasons, the reasons, the reasons. Hey, Justin, do you see the red writing here? Yes. What do we call that? Do you know? Uh... The last sentence. Okay. I'll give you a hint. Okay. Uh, hey, Max, what are you doing? <laughs> Max has his light. <laughs> Max. <laughs> Do you see it there? Yeah. Hey, Max, what's the what's this called? This red part here in the paragraph. It's called a. Uh... It's called uh, parrots. Uh, don't make good pets. Yeah, and so do you see this blue part? Oh, it's yes. called the conclusion, right? So do you remember, it says, I do not think ferrets are good pets. For this reason, ferrets do not make good pets. The person who wrote this changed the topic sentence a little bit for the conclusion. So for your paragraph, you guys, try to change the last sentence, the conclusion. Just change it a little bit, okay? 
Roy, what do you think? <laughs> Are you there? Um, yeah, I... Mm. Hey, Roy, do you think ferrets are, would be good pets? I think it's not a good pet. Yeah, why not? Because because I think uh -huh. it's not live in here. Not good to live here. Yeah. Do you see this? It says they smell bad and they make a big mess in your house. That's what the person said here. Hey, Spooky Buck, I haven't talked to you in a while. How are you? Spooky Buck. <laughs> yeah. How are you, Spooky Buck? I'm just fine today. All right. Let me go to um, Ellis again. Hey, Ellis in Ho Chi Minh City. Yes. Let's talk about this one. Yes. I, all right. So for your homework, I want you guys to write one paragraph only, if you can. If you want to write three paragraphs, some of you are really good. And you said, Brendan, I want to try three paragraphs because you want more of a challenge. And that's OK with me. So. I want to do homework about something you think is not a good pet, you guys. Something that is not a good pet. This person said ferrets are not good pets. I chose sharks, you guys, because some of you guys were talking about sharks. So Brendan teacher writes, I do not think sharks are good pets. Sharks are three or four reasons. Sharks are dangerous. They might eat the other fish in a tank. Sharks need a huge fish tank. Sharks are difficult to keep alive once we take them out of the ocean. And four, sharks will need a lot of fish to eat, and this will become expensive. Conclusion, therefore, I do not think sharks are good pets, you guys, okay? So I chose sharks. Can you guys, we have about two or three minutes. Can you think of some pets? Hey, Max, can you think of a pet that would be bad to keep in your house? Mm, I think a turtle. Turtle, okay, a turtle would be a bad one. Ashley, what do you think would be a bad pet for your house? Uh, I think, what? What's a bad pet? Sorry. We have a turtle, I said a shark, this person is a ferret. Hey Nick, what do you think would be a bad pet? Are you there, Nick? Think, think, what's uh, a bad pet? Teacher. Uh, teacher. For me, I think it is dinosaur. Oh, uh, what? And me, and me, I think it's Pythion. All right, a python. Spooky, yes. what's a bad pet? I didn't hear you, Spooky. Uh, Spooky. I think a bad pet is um, a lion. A lion, that's true. Hey, Nick, one more time. What was your scary pet, a dangerous pet? Um, I think a kitten. A kitten? Just a kitten? Yeah. A scorpion. A scorpion's really good. Ben, what do you think? A scorpion. Well, you're the scorpion. Sorry about that. Min, what's a bad thing? A bad pet? You ask me? Yeah. Um, I think the whale. Oh, okay. Susu, what about you? What's a bad pet? What do you think is a bad pet? Um... Uh, uh, bees. Bees? Okay, keeping bees. My friend Peter keeps bees in his near his house in America, but they're not his pets. Well, he loves them, but they make honey, and he sells really expensive honey, right? Alice, what do you think would be a bad pet? Uh, I think um, a Maybe uh, a turtle. Okay, a turtle. Hey, teacher Summer, what do you think would be a bad pet? Um, I would say an ant. An ant. <laughs> it's just so small. <laughs> Alex, what's a bad pet? What's a bad pet to keep in your house? <laughs> What happened to Alex? Ariel, what's a bad pet? 
And yeah, that's snake. A snake, yeah, you're going to go with the snake. So remember, write a paragraph that a snake is a bad pet. Uh, let's go to Roy. What's a bad pet for you, Roy? I think <laughs> it's... Yes, it, it's... It's a crocodile. Oh, my gosh, a crocodile. Susu, what do you have? You have a question? How about uh, Nick? Uh, oh, you're there? Uh, I, uh, yes? I, uh, do you think the, a dog is dangerous? Well, there's a dog called a, a bull terrier. He's a fighting dog in England, and they just told people you... You can't bring that dog out unless you get a special license. It was kind of serious. Okay, so yeah, they can be. Yeah, Cillian, you are in France. Are you there, Cillian? Yes. Cillian, what do you think is a dangerous pet? The monkey. A monkey. I think. <laughs> I think. Um, um, oh, shark. Yeah, was, teacher chose the shark. <laughs> Ashley, how about you? What do you think is a dangerous pet? I can hear. are you there? Tintin, are you there? Yeah. Hey, Tintin, what do you think would be a bad pet for a house? Uh, I think a snail. A snail? Okay, that's an interesting choice. Why? Because uh, they can leave a lot of slime everywhere if you can't keep them correctly. This is true. Do you see snails in Germany? Uh, yeah, all over the place. And yeah. also slugs. And they're always on the sidewalk, right? And uh, yeah. they're really gross. Yeah, my cousin lives in Ireland, and she had really big slugs and snails in her garden and in her uh, doorway. It was really gross. Yeah. All right. Hey, Minnam, I didn't ask you so many questions. What do you think is a dangerous pet? Is Minnam there? Yeah. Hey, sorry, Minnam. How are you? I'm fine. Yeah, I'm good. You're all good. Hey, Minna, uh, what, what about the pet? Can you think of a bad pet? Yes. Okay. I, I think the bad pet is a monkey. Yeah. You know, some people but, keep... No, I think the bad pet is a... Let me think a minute. All right. Well, Monkey is pretty good, Minnam. How about this? Who's the pink animal here? There's someone in the pink animal. I have to ask tiger. her. Oh, it's a tiger. Yeah, tiger would be a bad pet, sure. Very dangerous. They have them in Thailand. Do you have wild tigers in Vietnam in the Central Highlands or the jungles? In the zoo. In the zoo. But in the in the zoo half, but in our country. In the countryside, you can see them sometimes? But my mom oh, and I can see the tiger. Yeah, I they're dangerous. Lions. Yeah. So in Sumatra, south of you guys, there are some dangerous tigers in Sumatra in Indonesia. Mm. Okay. So do you guys understand the homework? Everybody? Yes, I understand. Okay, and if you go, if your mom or your dad says, what is the homework, hey, Max? You can say, well, you can go to the uh, Zalo page and I'll write what the homework is one more time for you. So you can check it. It's just to write one paragraph. Remember to have a good topic sentence. And Susu says, what, homework? <laughs> Very cute, Susu. Um, where you're going to write maybe five to seven sentences if you can. If you're an older student and you want to write three paragraphs, that's okay. I, I think that's great. But if you can write just one paragraph, you guys, 
write a paragraph about what will be a bad pet. Remember a good topic sentence, give three or four more sentences to describe why is it a bad pet, and then a nice conclusion sentence that's very close to your topic sentence. Okay, any questions? I All right. Hey, Max, what do you think? No. Do you think, think it's a cool, Simon, do you think it's a cool topic? Yeah. Like a weird pet, a I bad yes. pet? Yes. I, I think it's a great topic. A strange pet, right? Yeah. Okay. So good luck, you guys. And I will see you next week. Remember, on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, you can always send me your paragraph and I will check it and correct it, okay? Because it's interesting okay. to see what your, your ideas are pretty good. I like your ideas. And we'll just keep writing, practice writing, writing, writing. If you say, teacher, we don't want homework. Remember, this is a writing class. You have to do the homework, all right? That's the secret to become a good writer. You have to do the work. Okay, everyone, can we say goodbye? Yes. Goodbye, teacher. Bye, 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 Bye bye. Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Okay, bye, yeah, bye. See you on tomorrow at 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. All right. Bye uh, bye. The teacher Brandon, should we yeah. meet early with the TA? Yeah, because could we meet with Michael because he can give us some ideas about how to do the it's it's a one hour class, right? Or 90 minutes. It's it's 90 minutes. Oh, it's 90 yeah. minutes. Okay, but, so yeah, definitely Michael, a meeting with Michael because he wants to yes. observe, but he can give us some so good my, ideas. Yeah, so maybe you can you put it in to see what time that we should meet. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'll put that in the debate thing for everybody. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. At, in the, um, Vietnam yeah. time, it will be uh, uh, maybe nine thirty for half an hour. Do you think is okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so nine thirty Vietnam time, eleven thirty Japan time. Have a pre meeting. Yeah. Or maybe if possible nine o'clock maybe, and then you know it, yeah because the students sometimes they come early. <laughs> the right. first time. Okay. okay. So nine yeah. o'clock. All right, I'll put a general right. announcement. I think we okay. should meet in another Zoom link so that student will not come. Yeah, yeah, I think that's a good idea. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. I'll you okay. just tell the time and then tomorrow I send a Zoom. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'll do that. All right. Bye.